The Toronto Maple Leafs have been relatively quiet this offseason, but a recent trade proposal has stirred up discussion among fans and analysts. The proposal suggests acquiring Calgary Flames Captain Michael Backlund in exchange for Timothy Liljegren, David Kampf, and a 2025 second-round pick. On paper, this deal might seem beneficial, but let's dive deeper into what this trade would actually mean for the Maple Leafs. At first glance, adding a veteran like Backlund might sound appealing. He's a proven center with solid defensive skills and could provide stability in the middle six forward group. However, Backlund is 35 years old, entering the final year of a two-year, $9 million contract. While his leadership and experience are valuable, it's crucial to consider if this move aligns with the Maple Leafs' long-term goals. Before we dive into the analysis, don't forget to subscribe, activate the notifications, and give us a like if you're enjoying the content. It really helps the channel grow and keeps you updated on all things Leafs. Now, back to the trade scenario. While Backlund could fill a gap temporarily, the price is steep. Trading away a promising defenseman like Liljegren, who, despite some setbacks, still holds significant potential, could be a mistake. Kampf, although not a flashy player, is a dependable defensive center who provides depth and versatility. Throwing in a 2025 second-round pick only adds to the long-term cost. Moreover, bringing in Backlund could hinder the development of younger talent within the organization. The Maple Leafs already face challenges in finding roster spots for their emerging prospects. Adding an aging player would likely block opportunities for these younger players to break into the lineup, which goes against what the Leafs should be prioritizing right now. Ultimately, while acquiring a player like Backlund might seem like a quick fix, it doesn't address the Maple Leafs' Rayall needs. The team should be focusing on nurturing its young talent and creating space for them to develop. Should they focus on a youth movement? Let us know in the comments below. Until next time.